What's poppin' everybody? I'm Ron. And I'm Johnny, and we have a neat little feature for you today. Butterfly enthusiast Joe Cruz from Western Monarch Guardians is giving a crash course on monarchs. Let's head to their display tent at the Cultural Art and Psychology Fair at the Noru's Clinic in Irvine. We bring this here to bring the kids a little closer to nature. You know, this is better than saying, there's a butterfly. You know, and they actually can see the proboscis. We tell them about, they taste with their feet, their blood is green, okay, and they smell with their antennas. The monarch butterfly is a migrator. There are two migration paths. One's Mexico, one's California. The California migration is starting to die off. They've lost 92% of their butterflies since 1997. Uh, Pismo Beach had 230,000, and now they have 15,000. Now the reason we're concerned is because it's a migrator, it's a pollinator. So we want to keep them up, okay? It's got scales where a moth has like powder, mm -hmm. and that's the difference. With the scale, it's a little tougher. And even if you see some of the scales all gone, you can see like a membrane, so he, he can still fly. Mm -hmm. wow. Now the other amazing part is, I don't know why, but the monarch chose a, a host plant called a milkweed. Milkweed is toxic, it tastes terrible, and the birds, once the butterfly or the caterpillar eats it, he becomes toxic, and then the birds will leave it alone. It's like a self-defense mechanism, okay? So when we do these things, we tell them that. We also tell them about the symbol, like uh, Native Americans. They say if you grab one and you make a wish, turn it loose, and your wish comes true. Well, that's a lie. I've been wishing for nine years, and my wish hasn't come true yet. The Mexican culture, when they come back from Canada to Mexico, they have a celebration called the Day of the Dead because they believe the butterfly is their ancestors coming home and then all of their departed family is coming home to roost. Uh. And the, the migration is neat because they travel from Mexico to Canada, take four, four generations to get to Canada, but the last generation flies all the way back by itself. Wow. How did it remember when its great-great-great-grandfather is the one that made the trip? How does this butterfly know how to go. So all these mysteries we're still learning from them. But as you can see, it's an insect. We think of insects as, butter, uh, as bees and fleas and something that bites or scratches or gives you some kind of a, well this does not. It doesn't do that, any of that at all. It's very gentle. And I guess he's very friendly today because he's staying on your watermelon. <laughs> we give it watermelon because it, it likes sweet stuff. So it, that's, it's, it's the quickest way. Uh -huh. At the grocery store, we got his food. Uh -huh. So if you want to see a butterfly, you plant nectar plants. That's any flower that you saw over there. Anything that's bright reds or greens or blues or purples, butterfly will come to your garden. If you want to see the whole cycle, you have to plant milkweed. It's the only plant it'll put its eggs on. That's part of the reason we're losing it because our bus butterfly is coastal. Think about coastal, it means golf courses, condos, houses, recreation areas. They're tearing out the weeds, so the butterfly can't exist that way. So that's why we're here. We say, hey, start planting milkweed, start planting nectar plants, let's get that population. And there's a beautiful thing about nature. They keep asking me, well, how do I do this and how do I take it? It knows what to do. Just plant them. It know it's been here thousands of years. You don't have to do anything. The only thing you don't have to do is don't tear out the weeds, okay? But that's about it. It's, that's how simple it is. Thank you very much. Okay, Thank my you. pleasure. Say hi, Dad. I <laughs> 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 